Tim Burnett. Yes, sir. Welcome to our hunting area. Thanks for having me. Appreciate the invitation. Thanks for trusting a guy, first guide, first time guide to take you into an area he's not hunted a ton before. No, I'm glad we were able to reconnect after what? I'm not going to say how many years ago college was, but it was a while. It wasn't quite 20, but... It is definitely an experience I've wanted to do for a long time. And what better opportunity to do it, you know. We're one day into it and I'm just... Just a static already. I mean, it's unreal in here. Yeah, buddy. That's how you know the man's been hiking. Putting in the work. Yep. All right, well, there's that group of rams. Can you, see, can you see the other ram over there? Let's check this one out over there. He's still there. Let me get a quick shot of him. He's a decent ram. He's solo. He's a, he's my kind of ram. Yeah. Am I supposed to get dry if it's raining on me all the time? Hey lunch lady, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> resident of Alaska and kind of get desensitized to all this sometimes you take it for granted a little bit but when you got someone that loves to be here and is just in awe of Alaska like Tim is right now it just kind of rejuvenates and renews my sense of why I love it here so much this is awesome. thank you so much again and it's just starting yeah we're gonna get better from here right We got about 1,500 or more feet up and over this ridge right behind us here to get over into another valley we're trying to get to. So we can find another 1,500 feet elevation ridge and go over that one too. That's how we do it. All right, starting the serious climb. We're gonna go up over that saddle right up there. Sheep trail is not much of a trail, but it's a trail. I've been on the Alaska Adventure Services trail here. Feed up through that, we're good to go. It's pretty. Comes 
the snow. She's got this crest over that. Let's do that. Let's do that. That was fun. Came down that. plan is, if we don't see anything in this big valley, then we're going over that. That took a little bit of deal. Of course, we stopped and glassed a ton. We saw a bunch of sheep up there. Some rams here, another ram over there that we're actually going to go take a look at tonight. He looked like he might have been something to look at. Anyway. I labeled all my food and I put on this one to share with Tim. Nice. So I'll, I, I need to share this with Tim. Pretty tasty. Okay. These are like uh, bacon artificially flavored oven baked chips. They're really tasty. Although, Pack them in here about 15 miles, they've turned into more crumbs than they are chips. Still good though. So we're just a little under 2,000 to get to that pass. And we go around the backside, we're going to drop down quite a ways. I don't know how far. That valley over there doesn't look as sketchy. No, it looks to me like there's a lot more huntable country in that valley than this valley. But if you're if we're going all that way, man, I would be so tempted to try to get up on that ridge or something to to glass that big basin. You know what I'm talking about? That's further down. That Below looks it? like great sheep country. Fireweed. My wife makes some jelly out of that stuff right there. So, we've got a nice ram, big ram over here. Flares out, comes up. Just trying to decide if he's there or not. Looks like it on the left side. Close, I mean, so close. I would say, yeah, I think he probably makes it on his left side. But he's in a spot. You can't kill him where he's at. He'd go 1,000 feet. <laughs> he would, he'd be so smashed up by the time we picked him up that <laughs> there'd be nothing left of it him. It wouldn't be worth shooting him. Legal ram over there, but it's that canyon is just straight down, straight up where he's at. Oh. No way to kill him where he's at. So we're gonna go up around the top. There's some sheep right there, actually. Three sheep right on that knob. Probably the three we pushed over. And we'll go up over the top. 
and hopefully see some more rams. Potentially get in on a shooter. If not, we're gonna go over one more basin that has a bunch of little fingers and we'll just spend three or four days in there before we come back to here and see what we see. But hopefully we've got a ram down in the next six or eight days. We'll see. But this is the view. Camp, camp. Who wouldn't want to live here, right? For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it, not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't going to be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite, went through the whole list, and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip, and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. See, there was a sheep up there. So we put the scope on it. Looks like something that we need to take a closer look at. And we were gonna head up this way anyway. So instead we're gonna go to the top here, take a close look, and we'll be within shooting range likely. Hope he's a good one. No, uh, it's opening day. We don't, we don't want to kill on opening day, do we? No, but I will. I will. I don't know if he's legal or not. We need to get a closer look, but we're going up and getting a closer look and seeing what we can do. Might have a ram down here. Broken on the one side, but he ain't legal on the other. He's not. The one yesterday is way bigger. Yeah, he's the little one. The other one's a nice ram. He's staring right at us. So that's what we're gonna do. Enjoy the view. Eat some lunch. Lunch with the view. Beat that. If you can beat that view, you're doing all right. Tell me, doll, just what we're doing here. Cause I don't really know my way with you. 
tell me all we are is friends and I will see just why we don't talk like we used to. Always looks like you're kicking my butt because you're always way you're always ahead of me when I'm filming. right choice. Tim's every bit as tough or tougher than I am. So I appreciate it, Tim. He just says that because I smile a lot. I smile through the pain. I never take anything too seriously. We just crested over our third valley into our fourth valley. Zero sheep in this little pocket. I think, I think the bunny's over there. Yeah. And they're over there. But we're just pulling out our maps, the Onyx and the GPS, and look and see if it's the best for us to run the ridge or drop down to this little saddle here. And now work our way around. So that's what we're doing right now, just a little update. Just needed to rest our hooves and little drink of water. Just enjoy this. So I'm bedded down all I can. He bedded where, where his eyes are just like this, looking over a rock, so he can see us. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Just so it, just his horns and his eyes. He's watching us, smart. Is he broomed on the left side? He does look a little broomed, but I don't think he's quite broomed enough. Oh, he looks better than I thought he was. Oh yeah, that sun's gonna help me out a lot. Six-year-old ram? I would guess so. Yeah. I think you're right. Ram. We we're trying our trying our darndest to make him legal. He's really close to the full curl on his. He's about an inch shy on his left side is full curl. That inch is all is make all the difference in the world. We can't do it. I wouldn't mind killing around back here. Well, I think there's a good chance we might. You know what else I'm thinking? What are you thinking? Sun's out, gun's out. A nice stream over there. I'm thinking I'm gonna go take a bath. You need a bath. You should take a bath. Dude, I didn't bring any deodorant for. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna take a bath too. But that sun's gonna drop fast, so. Yeah, I'm liking the stream. I'm liking the bath idea. Where is he? Oh, man, he might be pushing 40 on that left side. I don't know, maybe not. Is that him climbing? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he's 40. Right there, you see him? Yep. 
Yeah. Something spooked him. Us? Probably. That's moving around down here. Wanna, you want to race up there, see if you can get within a thousand yards? Or uh, 600 yards? That same knob we originally saw these rams on. Is there another one on there right now? No. Should have my freaking binoculars. I had to poke my head out and looked up there. Whoa, Tim. First of all, they probably freaked out by the tent. They were kind of sitting there watching it. Then when some ugly dude came out and started walking around, that's when they're like, see ya. Where are they going? The other ones went right over to that edge and then they just went right up. And they bunched up right there where that where it starts to get steep. Yeah. And then they dropped off the back side. We don't have enough daylight to get up there. Went out to step out of the tent to go get some water after dinner tonight. We had dinner here in the tent. And uh, obviously, went out to get the water, came back, I glanced was up on the mountainside, and I said, There's some rams out there, those look like bigger, different ones. So I grabbed the spotting scope. Didn't you hand the spotting scope out to me? Yeah, yeah, you woke so, me up. Yeah, I was uh, almost asleep. And I was looking at it, and I was like, Whoa, Tim, you're gonna want to come look at these rams. I was thinking they were the same three rams that we just looked at and determined it wasn't legal. No, Thought maybe are, they came back over the ridge. First thing I saw was horn. Lots of it. So. So, they saw me, they had already saw me, seen me already. They were about a thousand yards away. And I don't know if something had spooked them coming from the other side or if they were coming down into this basin to get a drink and, and saw the tent here and then saw me moving around, if that's what spooked them. But anyway, they hightailed it out of here. That ram is a beast, no question. Th there were three rams. There was one that was probably seven eighths curl, three quarter curl range. There was one that was full curl. And then there was one that was beast curl. On his left side, he was minimum upper, th I'm saying upper thirties, possibly a 40 inch ram. He was so, so long, so long on that left cor horn of his, on his right horn. Brimmed off. I can't wait to look back at the film on the big TV or whatever and just really look at Yeah, I don't, I don't know if he was 40, but I might be exaggerating on that. We're going to hopefully try to find him tomorrow. Kind of have an idea of where he might be. Yeah. Or might have gone to, but... We'll yeah, I don't, I don't know if he was 40, but I might be exaggerating on that. We're going to hopefully try to find him tomorrow. Steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat, dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum. It is the morning of day two of the hunt, actually, but day four of the trip. And it's a beautiful one. Sun just coming up. And not a sheep to be seen, which is good. A giant ram went up over the top. Right up over here. Came out, ringed around. Another basin. Gotta get our butts moving this morning. Hey? Just, just trying to get you going. <laughs> yeah, Take right. the tent down around you, one way to do it. Look at your mess over there. <laughs> well, Tim made the suggestion to go up all the way up there, so I'm just I'm, I'm just trying to please my client. He wants yeah, to go up there, I'll, we'll go up there. Sadly, I, I did make that suggestion. 
but we know what's on the other side of there, potentially. That's where that big ram went, we think, hopefully. And there's a big basin that we've been seeing other rams in, so hopefully that's the ticket. Beautiful morning. Gorgeous. Any other final words of wisdom, guide? Let's go kill a ram, hopefully. Yeah. If not, we'll just have a fun time climbing a mountain. Tell you what, we're gonna have a heck of a view from up there. We're gonna be able to see for hundreds of miles. It's gonna be amazing. All right, dude. Might as well quit prolonging the inevitable. Let's get her done. You lead us out, eh? Stay tuned. I could almost swear My heart gets colder with the air And it gets hard to say the things that I don't need I can almost see When I'm looking back at me The point at which I felt my faith break free Shook beneath my bones Fill your arms around my throat You said please But I don't believe Anything Mr. Solohorn, so. Say, Mr. Burnett, Mr. Solo Hunter himself. Take advantage of my guide and I'm not finding me a sheep to do some artsy bartsy stuff, so at least I have a hiking show. It's gonna be a great hiking show we put together here, huh? We've got a ram down here. We haven't picked up the rams, the big ones that we know were, there's two of them that were legal. But there's another big ram down there that we, we've got to look at one side of him, but we're sitting up here, we're gonna make some lunch and hopefully get him to give us a better angle. But his one side is broomed, which gives us hope. We just gotta take a look at this other side and see what he looks like. So, looks like a big, heavy, old ram. Would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh man, you are the master. I'm gonna stir that up and we're gonna have some. Very hot, be careful. Some mojo. <laughs> oh, dude. Well, I guess we need to make a plan for sure on what we're doing. If we're going after this ram. I'm not gonna get snow, but all right, let's gonna hang out here for a while longer. Probably go get some snow and make some more hot chocolate. What are you doing, Tim? Huh? What are you doing? Making a bed. Big stick. In this case, it's a rock. Eric's sitting over here drinking some hot cocoa, and I'm making some beds. <laughs> On top of this mountain. And we're going to sleep right here on top of this mountain in this little spot right here. It's out of the wind. 
got a little bit of puddle of water from, milk from the snow melt right here. We got a view of sheep country like you can't believe. Yeah, we're liking this little spot. Put our tent right there, little, little teepee tent. Try not to pee too close to the water. And enjoy the view. Pray that the weather doesn't come in. We've had awesome weather. That's it. <clears throat> yeah. We pretty much just found the highest peak, the highest spot in the area. And pitched our tent there. No, no. It's a good spot. It's right where four big basins intersect up at the head. We're kind of tucked down in a little hole. Tried to get out of the wind. We'll see what tonight's like. Tonight could be bloody miserable. Look at this. Alright. This could be misery. Self-induced. Well, I just talked to everybody on my phone and everything seems to be fine there at home. They went to Lake Tahoe today and spent the afternoon, had dinner on the beach. It was like 100 degrees, had a barbecue, swam. Gracie caught a mole that was underneath the, the sand. So it sounds like they had a good day. And me and Eric hung out up here on, the, on this peak, getting the wind, wind just destroying us. And it's cold, as you can you might notice by all my layers. I think I've got every every layer I brought with me on. Oh, sorry. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Less scripted is the better. More what? I said less scripted it is the better. For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, vino harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. All right, it's day three of the hunt, day five of the expedition. Um, we got a full grill ram across the valley over there, but he's really spooked. There were some guys that came in last night and shot a ram that I thought was sublegal. We'll see. But anyway, that gut pile's down there, and that when those rams moved in, I think they're smelling that gut pile, and they're on super high alert. So I don't know if they're going to stay in this valley or not, but they're acting like they want to get out of Dodge, so we're going to try to have to make a move quickly. Get some rare sun. We got a rare full curl ram and we got rare two studs in one place. We're gonna, uh, we got camp all packed. Pretty well. So we're gonna try to get up this ridge here. Would have been nice to help do it with fog, but take what you get. Yeah. So kind of keeping an eye on those rams. We're just kind of milling, slowly moving up just a little bit. So hug the backside, try to stay out of sight. We tried to get him in on our sides. Let's do it. Pop tart. Nice. 